never easy to recognize God's presence. It's never easy to recognize God's answer. God will never come in a manner that you've offered a prayer. He answers differently. But he does answer. Doesn't mean because I'm praying this way, he will answer this way. We have to take cognizance of God's answers, but it's not easy. Sometimes you pray for something that God has answered, but because of the form and how he's answering you, you don't recognize. You keep on praying for an answered prayer. Because if you look at the children of Israel, all they knew was bondage. They never had another life. Moses was their sibling. But Moses grew up in the palace when people were slaves putting up bricks. Now God is asking Moses to take out the children of Israel out of financial issues, out of relationship turmoil, <laughs> out of frustration. Say it as if it's an example. You know where you are. But God says it's taking you out. Now people are frustrated because of the uncertainty. It's very easy to follow than to lead. Now when is their time? God says it's your time now to go out there and make a mark. Amen. He is <laughs> sending somebody who understands what it feels like. You remember how Moses left Egypt? He killed an Egyptian. For 40 years, he was running away. Now God says, it's an opportunity. Tell neighbor, for two, three years, you've been having problems, sickness, disease. God says it's an opportunity for me to train you in the desert life because be careful of leaders who try to lead you where they've never been. Moses had to understand how it feels like to be in the desert. understand what hardship is because many of you you have entitlement mentality you don't understand the grace of God the favor of God the faith of God we always think things will be the same it's not a mistake that he had to kill and run away and be trained how to live with a need. Many people will tell you about poverty, but they've never been. Watch the leaders that talk about things that they've never been exposed to. All they know is soft life. Now God says, I want you to be the one that takes them out. But I'm going to make it a point. I'll have an opportunity for you to move out. You know how people behave. Those who have children. When they're 18. When they're 20. They'll make noise about moving out. But they forget that when you move out. There's bills to pay. <laughs> there's a responsibility. Because they are too comfortable. Now they didn't know what they are asking for. There was too many uncertainties. God has grace to bring Moses back. Said, Moses, please take these people out of Egypt. Please tell the neighbor, it's easy to take them out of Egypt, but it's difficult to take Egypt out of them. That's all they know. The mentality is 
cuts off. Even when God says, I'm taking you out, the Lord will not give you details why your problems are the way they are and coming at the time they come. No. No, because of uncertainty, you are frustrated. You want to expedite things. They never knew that when they go out, they would have borrowed gold. They would have borrowed sheep. They would have borrowed... I think everyone from child to mother, to, they had things to carry. And it was tough. But because the Lord says it's your time, I'm taking you out. They don't only have to carry their burdens, they have to carry their baggage. But he does not tell them how far, how long. That's the worry. Tell neighbor, God is an investor. He's not a God of details. He wants your obedience. The situation we are in, God is still working. We don't recognize God's hand. He keeps on telling them, look, just pack and go. I will show you. But because we don't know. How long will it take? How far are we working? When are we arriving? You're leaving us. You're taking us to go. You're telling us to start afresh. You're telling us to change the paradigm. How long? How far? God, he says, I will show you show you. They never had a clue what God meant. They were lost. It's easy to be in a place and feel comfortable. When you go out, it's a responsibility. The children of Israel were never responsible. There were conflicting ideas between Moses and the children because Moses understood his mandate. Moses was an Israelite, but he was alienated from the Israelites. He grew up in Egypt. He never knew anything about Israelites. Now he has to lead what he does not understand. He has to convince what he does not understand. That's where we are, the Joshua generation. It's very difficult to trust God. People always think there's something else better outside. Pastor, please read Exodus 16. He says, recognize my answer. When I'm taking you out, I know it's heavy. I know you have baggage to carry. I know things are not happening the way you want. But I'm taking you out. I will show you. I will show you where, how, what. They had to walk two months and a few days. No, no shoes. Where now your problem is days. Look at your behavior. Your problem is hours. Look at your attitude. They had to walk. Pharaoh was riding a chariot. They were walking. When Pharaoh eventually said, okay, Asambein, these people only know Egypt. They are not trained to go and accept the Canaan life. It's a strange to them. Now, if God says, I'm taking you out of, into, if you don't get it, you'll be complaining. Yes, because we are not trained for the greatness that God is bringing. You are not trained for the wife that you are going to become. You are not trained for the business. All you know is what you know. And what you don't know will affect your children. Yes. Exodus chapter 16 from verse 32. And then Moses said, this is what the Lord has commanded. Fill a two-quarter, fill a two-quarter container with manna to preserve it to your descendant. Then, the, then later generation will be able to see the food I gave you in the wilderness when I set you free from Egypt. When I set you free, free. please tell them it's easy to be bound than to be free. Because when you are free, you must be responsible. Tell them. It's easy to be than to be because when you are free, you become responsible. 
Yes. Ezra 16, verse 32. Then Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord has commanded. Fill an omer with it to be kept for your generations, mm. that they may see the bread which, with which I fed you in the wilderness mm. when I brought you out of the land of Egypt. Verse 33. And Moses said to Aaron, Take a pot and put an omer of manna in it and lay it up before the Lord to be kept for your generations. 34. As the Lord commanded Moses, so Aaron laid it up before the testimony to be kept. Verse 35. And the children of Israel ate the manna for 40 years until they came to the inhabitants. Were they laboring, Pastor? They ate the manna that was given. Look, God takes you out of into. Now you don't want this manna. You want to design your own thing. <laughs> And he says, for each day, it is enough for you. Please do this. I can't. God's answer is unrecognizable. You can miss God big time if you don't have the ear to hear what he's saying. They don't know that he's taking them out. They are puzzled. If you are taking us out, why are we working with Pharaoh? <laughs> they don't know. He said, I will show you what will happen in the water. God, the wheat and the wheat. I will show you. I will provide for you. I will give you man. They still don't get it. They don't know. The same people that they're carrying stuff for, they're all doing things for, they will remain in the water. God says, I will show you. Just trust me. Yes. Please tell neighbor, neighbor, as you tidy up, you walk. God says, I will show you. Start a new life. God says, I will show you. New calling. God says, I will show you. New opportunities. God says, don't be afraid. You have to fight with faith and defeat being afraid. They don't know what's going to happen. Where you are, you don't know that God has got an excellent plan. He's going to open the Red Sea. <laughs> Anything that does not belong to him, what's going to happen? Nobody knew that. That's why they were doubting God when God tells them. God will not show you everything. He shows you precept by precept, but he has a complete plan. Tell neighbor, God's answer is unrecognizable. You can miss it. He has already answered. They are complaining in the desert. They are fighting Moses. Moses had to fight the people that he loves, but he does not know them. Remember Moses grew up in the palace born when they were building bricks. Now the culture is not the same. It is easy to take people out of Egypt, but it's not easy to take the person Mind set. Yes. That's why we have dynamics in our marriages, dynamics at work, dynamics in business. Everywhere we are, you can never change a set mentality. Never. You can pray until you are blue, until the person understands God has done a miracle. My life is not the same. Yes. Exodus chapter 16, verse 8. Then Moses added, The Lord will give you meat to eat in the evening and bread <laughs> to satisfy you in tell, the morning. Tell me why you like worrying. Tell me. Tell me. Some of you are discouraged. God is putting you in a nice college. That's why the outside world says experience can be the only best teacher. Some of you will never be the same. Even the way you approach things, you'll be grateful for everything.
where the Lord is gonna pray. Oh. It'll be all over in the morning. There's no need to worry where the Lord is gonna pray. It'll be all over in the morning there's no need to worry tell neighbor <laughs> it'll be Moses, 